It was always a proud moment, you know what I mean? It was like, almost like your, your older brother's knighting you. We all aspired to, to get it one day, and everybody earned theirs in different ways. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. It is without a doubt that Rockefeller Records is forever engraved in hip-hop history. The logo with the final record and champagne bottle is immortal in the world of music. Only icons were a part of Rockefeller Records, so it's fitting that only icons rock the chain. Even though the record label officially closed its doors in 2013, Jay-Z made it clear long ago that Rockefeller's legacy would live on, rapping in 2005 saying, The chain remains, the gang's intact. The group of people that wear a Rockefeller chain around their necks is an exclusive one, and as a former Rockefeller employee working his way up the ranks from mailroom to intern to assistant A&R, Everyday Struggles Wayno offers up insider details to how someone gets a bestowed rock chain. Here's a look at some of the most prominent people to be given a chain and some history on why it means so much to receive one. Rockefeller Records was famously founded in 1996 by Sean Jay-Z Carter, Damon Dame Dash, and Kareem Biggs Burke. It's hard to believe now, but back in the day, Jay-Z had trouble signing to a label and was turned down by many. However, those failures birthed the idea of Rockefeller Records, whose success led to a lucrative deal where it partnered with Def Jam Records and churned up some of Jay's best work and some of East Coast rap's best artists. As the first official signee, Jay-Z released Reasonable Doubt, a debut album that delivered several hits and garnered Jay-Z a promising reputation. We now know that Jay-Z's GOAT status continued to rise after that first album, and as traction around him built, so did the label and its roster. Over time, other signees joined including Memphis Bleak, Beanie Siegel, Freeway, DJ Clue, Kanye West, and Cameron, just to name a few. According to Double XL, Memphis is most likely one of the first artists to receive a chain considering he inked a deal in the 1990s. 90s. Freeway was also given his after signing in the early 2000s. Everybody that had got a Rockefeller chain, it was like different circumstances. Like some people got a Rockefeller chain uh, for making a hit record. I think uh, when Freeway got his, it was, I think it might have been like after 1900 Hustler. Or no, it was after he, they did the Hot 97. Freestyles. It was around that time. Wayno had a close relationship with Rockefeller's hip hop duo Young Guns. He looked back on working with them and how Chris and Neef got their chains. Neef got his maybe two years after Chris got his, and they were in a group together. So the reason why they didn't give Neef his the same time was because everybody used to get on Neef. They used to call him lazy. We started working on the State Property Chain Gang 2 album, and Neef had like a, a, a lot of verses on there. He worked really hard. Um, and from that, we had got the record Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Jane got nominated for a Grammy, you know? They was, they was going somewhere, and him, Jay, and Chris got on a helicopter, and Jay gave it to him while they was on a helicopter, but Neef ended up getting, like, the Rose Gold. He got the Rose Gold. This one, Rose Gold, was, like, the newest thing. So Chris, yeah, like, Chris got his, like I said, around the time when he was um, in the studio working with Jay-Z on Blueprint 2. He was, I mean, he was just in there every day with Jay, and, uh, Chris had went through like some tough uh, circumstances where he had lost one of his friends, and Jay kind of around that time really took him under the wing and just kept him with him every day, and he was doing a lot of music. And then one day, you know, I, I was hearing it. They was like, yo, you, they, they about to give him his chain. I think I might have picked that one up to bring to the studio. I think I picked young Chris's chain up from Jacob. As for Kanye, he got his chain while in Chicago. Starting out as an in-house producer, Wayno says that Kanye got his chain when Rock felt he was serious. During his music video for Through the Wire, Kanye showed the exact moment he was chained during a show. What was really ill about Kanye is like nobody really foresaw what was to come for him. You know, when he had did College Dropout, I mean, he got his chain before he did College Dropout. Um, he got it around the time when he officially signed, which was, I think it was like, 2003. But we was in Chicago and I remember them talking about it like yo we going to give uh Ye his chain, you know, and um it came out and they made that moment, you know, and, and nobody ever forgot it. You know, nobody ever forgot it. Rockefeller really works like a family, which only makes it fitting that Beyonce got her chain too. Jay shouted out his lady during PSA rapping, got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain. A few years later, Jay put more ice on Beyonce with a wedding ring. As the downfall of Rockefeller Records approached due to rumored tension between Jay and Dame, other prominent figures received chains as well, like LeBron James. According to Wayno, there were different variations of it. We know of the original, Rockefeller Films, and Rock La Familia, but there was a chain that was made that represented presidential status that never really saw the light of day except for a select few. They were supposed to be doing something where they was gonna give uh, like a presidency position to 
the three top artists who at the time were uh, Bean, Beanie Siegel, Memphis Bleak, and Cameron. And they had made like a separate like chain, another a rose gold chain, where it was um, it was rose gold and it had black diamonds in it. I'll never forget that, because that's the first time I ever seen black diamonds. J. Damon Biggs, they all three of them had it and had their names inscribed in it. Eventually, um, the presidency thing didn't didn't come to fruition. Uh, and I remember Kanye getting one of those chains l later on, like around the time when he dropped his album, they gave him one of those chains. Eventually, Jay, Dame, and Biggs all went their separate ways, but the legacy they built lived on through the chain, and to this day, people are still honored with it. In 2014, Jay-Z famously gave Rock Nation signee J. Cole his original rock chain for his 29th birthday. Cole came out on stage at Madison Square Garden with a piece performing Can't Get Enough, mashed with Jay's Big Pimpin'. Hove joined him on stage to perform PSA, but unexpectedly stopped the show to make a special announcement. First of all, happy birthday to J. Cole. It's his birthday, but he's given out gifts. So I think it's only right that you get a gift. That on your neck is my original rock chain, and it's yours. Another huge rock chain moment belongs to DJ Khaled. Khaled signed to Rock Nation in 2016 with a management-only deal. As Khaled's manager, Jay-Z gifted his new signee his personal chain, saying, I don't own an original one, like, at all. Zero. This is my last one. This is mine. I don't own another one. Respect. More recently in 2017, Big Sean received his rock chain after releasing I Decided. Big Sean shared the image of him wearing the iconic ice on Instagram, writing, Hove just gave this to me, told me I earned it. As Big Sean was doing his press rounds, he stopped by the Breakfast Club rocking the chain and he explained how Jay gave it to him. I never thought I'd have a Rockefeller chain, just to keep it real. It was always one of those things growing up, you want a Rockefeller chain, it was like one of the most iconic chains to me growing up. After saying he felt the rock chain was second to none, he went into detail about how a regular conversation with Jay led to his dream coming to fruition. I don't remember exactly what we said, but then all of a sudden he hit me and was like, you know, what size you want? What size chain you looking for? Full size or mid size? I'm like, full size. And anyway, he gave it to me and he hit me like, go pick it up from the jeweler and was just like, you earned it, man. Long after Rockefeller Records, Jay-Z carries out its legacy gifting chains to those who've earned it, but the exclusivity has not been lost. Every person with a chain is involved with Rock Nation business-wise in some way. After all, Jay-Z isn't a businessman, he's a business, man. That's all for now, but for more news like this, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez.